One thing that's really fun about Concatenator is how you can swap out the presets without swapping out the samples that you're using. Right now I'm just playing some drum loops through this. And, and we're playing sounds from the Natural World Corpus preset. I've also flipped it into one-shot mode, so it's playing back the shorter samples as one-shots with a nicer transient. As this plays, I'm actually going to flip through some of the parametric presets here. And listen to how much of a difference it makes. Same sample library, same input. This one's fun because it features a bunch of sample and hold LFOs. And one thing that's really fun about our modulation section is that these modulators can modulate one another. And you can create these really interesting feedback systems. So I can daisy chain these for together, for instance. I can put this rate controlling that rate and just keep going down to where each one's controlling the next one's rate. Whenever you turn spec weight and amp weight down, that's when it becomes the most random. Like you can hear it kicking around the rhythm, but it's, you know, not picking out the correct sounds. So one thing that's really fun is to vary these two parameters, like maybe get them to switch back and forth. We'll use an envelope follower. And what I like to do is put them both in the middle and then make them the opposite of each other. So I'm going to bind that there and then just reverse first the orientation of that. So we're going to turn up the depth, turn down the attack, and maybe turn up the release a bit. And so now when the spec is high, the amp is low. Maybe we want it so when the amp is high, the spec is low. And that would be a matter of just inverting the depth right here. And maybe that's the job for the next LFO. So we'll put another LFO right here. But slower. a little bit of slew and we'll also add a little bit of noise to the signal I just downloaded this flutes pack from splice we're just gonna put the whole thing in there and how long was that that was maybe six seconds 1.2 gigabytes of samples just got loaded We also have a MIDI envelope, and since I'm playing a synth into this, I can just send those same notes into this MIDI envelope. And I'm just going to do that by taking the main instrument, this operator patch, opening it up, and putting an external instrument right next to it. So it's sending these notes not just to the synth, but also to somewhere else. And we're going to specify the group that we're currently on, and concatenator pops up right there. And now I should see, with each note, this envelope getting tripped, and I can send that anywhere I want. That's so in time. Maybe min? And we'll take the other one off. Maybe we'll start high and we'll go the opposite direction. And then one more new thing that you can do has to do with this min-max control here in the grains. If you set your polyphony to 1 and your particle is really low and you turn on one-shot mode, then locking together min and max gets really, really fun. So right now we're, we're modulating this. It, it'll get really glitchy. Notice how it goes quiet. This feels like an instrument on its own. I, I just go to the left and starts triggering samples, and then if I hold it there, it gets glitchy. 